Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the detection features on our PoEIP cameras. So the PoEIP cameras have been very commonly used these days. We can see it like anywhere we go, mostly in public places. And for these IP cameras, their purpose there is for them to record and give us precious information when there's an accident or criminal activities. In this case, they, if they run 24-7, it will cost a lot of energy, a power, and also take up a lot of storage for the recordings. So in most places or some special places, they have a special feature. It's either using human detection or motion detection. So these detections will set alarms or activate the camera for them to start recording instantly. So what's the difference between a human detector and a motion detector? So these two detectors, are they all fall into the alarm system for the camera. Whenever it's triggered, it will activate the camera's recording feature and it will record the video image on our hardware or wherever we record our video footage. So let's talk about them. First, the motion detection. The motion detector will pick up any motion within the frame. So usually you can think of it as comparing two video frames. So we'll compare the previous video frame with the latest video frame. If there's a difference in any aspect, let's say like infrared, uh, objects, or light, even rain, if there's any difference that it will to pick up, then it will activate the camera and start recording. So basically any movement will activate this camera. This is usually when there's a area that is kind of restricted or has to be known whenever there is any activity, this will be a good feature. Now let's talk about the human detection. So the human detector is a more precise, it will only recognize human structures. And once it rec recognizes a human structure, this will activate the camera and trigger the recording feature. This is more used when we are sure that only a human appearance is needed in the video footage. So if there's like, say like a back door of a mall or a building, and usually there is nobody there. Once anybody suspicious might go over there, it will pick up the human structure and it will start recording. Either other things like maybe sometimes a wild cat or a car passing by, that will not trigger the, hu the human detector anyways. So this is, this will give us less fa false alarms and give us more precious value information. So an example of a human detector IP camera is one of our fast cabling's five megapixel IP cameras. This IP camera, you can see it's currently showing the image of the rack on this side. And if I wave my hand, I enabled the only the human detector. So when I wave my hand, you can see there's nothing special on the screen. Now I have disabled the human detector, so it is currently default in motion detector. And this motion detector, once I have any movement in front of the camera, you can see the screen frame turns red and there's a little person at the bottom indicating there is movement, which our detector has been activated and the recording has started. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions about these two detectors, you can leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.